Hi guys and welcome to Ho Chi Minh, formerly known as Saigon. Uh, we are here, we have just come from Phu Quoc where we spent a couple of weeks. We're having about five days here, which is quite a long time for this city. We're waiting for our flight out of here to Sydney, but we've kind of started lots of things we can do in terms of eating. And now we're just going to take a walk around the streets and look for some clothing shops. Okay, so one of our first tasks that we're going to do here in Ho Chi Minh is find an outfit for Charlotte. And we've been told that there is a street for everything here in Ho Chi Minh. Right now we're on the street which is famous for clothes. Uh, and it's a few kilometers long, so we're just going to take a walk and see if we can find something that she likes. We're getting a nice refreshing juice. Uh, there's a lot of different places to choose from. This one stood out to us, it looks quite western. salad and juice bar um, and it's quite a cool little cafe definitely a western feel in here everyone's in hawaiian shirts so the food comes in bowls we have got an acai bowl this is a chocolate acai bowl dragon fruit and coconut shavings and it's 140 thousand vietnamese dong and i have gone for a falafel i think it's called the habiba a lot of flavors going on in here very tasty very fresh probably a little bit more higher price than what we normally go for. But We're finding that a lot in the gym. It's called Sin Vegan House and the whole menu is vegan. Now I don't think it's open all day. Uh, it seems to close after lunch and open then for dinner. Um, but we've been recommended to try the vegan egg, which apparently tastes better than real egg. And we're also going to try the bean curd wings, which look like chicken wings. And when I was not vegan, chicken was like one of my favorite things. So we're very excited to try this. Okay, so this is the vegan pork skin roll. I thought it was actually going to be something deep fried, but it seems to be one of the Vietnamese summer rolls. Anyway, let's give it a whirl. Yeah, it's like a summer roll. I'm going to try the rice first. Yeah, it's nice fried rice. Going in for the mustard. That's really eggy. That guy was right. That egg is so good. That makes me miss egg. Try that show. Definitely it has the eggy taste, but it's not as eggy, which is good, because I don't know if I wanted it so eggy because I wasn't such a fan of that egg smell. It tastes just like the yolk of an egg, which is really weird when it's like cooked. Like a fried egg. That'd be really nice in between some of the rice, wouldn't it? It's a mango. It's vegan mango. It's not exactly like chicken, but it's definitely very, very similar. The texture, the shape the skin uh, it's all it's all telling me that it's chicken I know it's not and that's good okay so I ordered a banana smoothie this is not it this is a mango smoothie they don't have any bananas but I'm very interested to try what a mango smoothie is like a mango shake that's good I concur this is delightful that was very exciting because they do a very good like vegan alternative foods to like the chicken and the eggs so that's something that we've not had in a long time and Corey loved his chicken and it, it was like I don't know like the texture is kind of like stringy and it was like sticky like a sticky wing so if that's your thing then try it out and it wasn't too expensive like um, two dishes and a drink 188,000 which in pounds is about five to six pounds Maybe the dishes weren't huge though, they were quite small portions, but they're enough for us. But yeah, I think we'll come back here and try more things on the menu. We're 
at the Notre Dame Cathedral here in Ho Chi Minh. It's a sweet soup. Gosh, it looks like chocolate, but it's not. <laughs> no, it's not chocolate at all. Wow, it's really actually thick. Like soy sauce. <laughs> <laughs> that's nice. Yeah? Yeah, that's yummy. Oh. One thing you'll come to learn about Saigon is it's all about the back alleys. Uh, laneways, that's where all the action is. You get right up close and personal with the locals. Their houses are right here with the open doors uh, and there's a lot of food options as well and some of them can be very busy and very hectic with scooters but definitely worth taking a little wander down uh, and seeing what you find. I found this place called Veggie Saigon. Um, it's actually pretty close to Filthy Vegan, where we went on the first night, but the prices here are very competitive, and the food seems really good. Uh, it's got a lot of good reviews as well. And we're just tucking into the Pad Thai, which is very tasty. I've also got a banh mi, and we've got like a tofu skin fried rice. We've we'll smashed it. We've, we're probably gonna order some more food. Very delicious. Spicy tofu coming out, and um, the fried rice had something called tofu skin, roux song. Um, not sure what it is, Google it. It's like shavings, but like sprinkled on top, like a topping. Really tasty on the fried rice. We got a spicy tofu, and it smells like sweet and sour. Let me see what it's like. I thought the tofu was going to be bigger. It's a bit too hot. Crispy on the outside, but very soft in the middle. Ooh! I got my dessert. I have some fried oh. banana. Mmm! So four dishes, two drinks, and a dessert, and it costs 286 dong. And uh, we think that's very affordable. It's all very yummy. I think that was my favorite food in Ho Chi Minh. In Saigon. In Saigon. And fully vegan, all very yummy. Veggie Saigon. 